hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Kim with creative Crafticality, and today I wanted to do a little craft with me and show you how I made this cute little tag with a paint chip this is a paint chip that I picked up at Walmart and it, it actually has pumpkin patch on there I found another one as well it's another orange color this one here it says jack-o-lantern on the top so I just thought those were perfect to make little tags with so I already made this one and this is included in my junk journals that I'm making for my Etsy shop the Halloween junk journals I just released a video on Tuesday for that and they are listed in my shop right now so go ahead and check the link down below and check out the really fun junk journals that I made so with this one these are really quick and easy to make so the first thing was I had tea, er, dyed this paper purple with food coloring so I had a piece of that left over so I just cut it a little bit over the size of my card so I'm going to glue that down on top And then I have a bunch of fun things here. This is a cut apart from the Hocus Pocus Recollections paper pad from Michaels. And so I'm gonna glue that down. Right about here. And then I have some purple rickrack that I'll put right into, along the bottom here. And these are just fun tags to make that you can use up all those fun little scraps that you have in your stash. This is a piece from the Dollar Tree. It's the little web, spider web tool that you can find in the Halloween section right now. They have this purple as well as this clear Clear glitter as well so I pulled that out I'm just gonna glue this down Put that right along the side there And that will all dry clear so you won't see those blue globs and then I have these really cute felt stickers and I believe these were from the 99 cent store this year so I'm gonna go ahead and put that down along the side here and then I'm gonna punch a hole in the corner and I have some purple tool and I think I got this at Michaels but I think you can get this at Walmart Michaels Joann's it's just the tool that's on the roll so I'm going to make a little tie Just like that so super cute you could add little rhinestones I have these I'm gonna use them on on my other tag that I'm gonna make for you 
But that one's ready to go. It was super quick and easy. So on this one, I have another cut apart and it's this really cute spider. And this was from that same Hocus Pocus collection. So I'm gonna glue that down. And then on this one, I have a little piece of black lace. So I'm gonna put this along the bottom. And for this, for the spider web tool, it's best that you have black behind it. I find that it shows up a lot better. So I thought adding this lace would look really pretty with it, but then the spider web shows up a lot better when you have it on top of the black, just like on this one, it shows up a lot better on the black. So I'm gonna put that right down there. And then, let's see, I'm gonna punch my hole. And I have this fabric. It's actually a scarf that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, but I cut it into strips. So I'm going to use that as the tie. You know what, before I do that though, I need to cover my back, I forgot about that. I have some fabric that I used with one of my junk journals. I have the little scrap here, and this was fabric. I think I picked this up at Walmart. Either there or Joann's. I'm just gonna cut a little piece to go on the back. <clears throat> and I'm going to trim off the edges here.
just like that. <clears throat> I just need to repunch my hole. Now I can go ahead and put my fabric tie in there. like that and then I have these little rhinestones I think they were from the Target dollar spot last year but I'm going to go in and add those Actually, you want to move this right here, just like that. And then I also have these little spiders I thought would be cute. So I'm going to use one of the orange ones. This was from the Target dollar spot, but I know they have these plastic spiders everywhere right now. that up at the top just so if this is going to be stuck in a little pocket you're not going to want this big dimensional item down at the bottom so I'm going to stick that up at the top Hot glue would actually be quicker for that. I'm sticking those down, but there's that one. I'll pull in this one that we made. Oh, the one I made before, anyway. So, super cute. I hope you like these. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.